Irish men and Irish women. Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and of the dead generations, from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood. Irishmen and Irish women, Ireland, through us, summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Irish men and Irish women, we declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. Irish men and Irish women, we hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent state. We pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom. Of its welfare. of its exaltation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and hereby claims the allegiance of every Irish man and Irish woman. Irish men and Irish women. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunity to all its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation. of the whole nation. Of the whole nation. And of all its parts, cherishing all of the children of the nation equally. children of the nation equally. Oblivious of the differences, carefully fostered by an alien government, which have divided a minority from the majority in the past. Irish men and Irish women. The Irish nation must, by its valour and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called.
The Irish nation must. Prove itself worthy. Signed on behalf of the Provisional Government. Thomas J. Clark, Sean McDiarmid, Thomas McDonough, P. H. Pierce, Eamon Kent, James Connolly, Joseph Plunkett. <laughs> <laughs>